What's up, ZoomTube? This is Jared from ZoomTan again, and I wanted to take a minute to say thank you to all the people who have been watching the videos and have been liking and also subscribing to the channel. I do greatly appreciate you all getting involved. Uh, today, I wanted to do a video on five tips that will help you get more from every UV tanning session. So, as always, thumbs if you liked the video, subs if you loved it, and do hit that bell to notify yourself when we come out with more videos. Without further ado, let's get right into it. Five tips that will help you get more from every UV tanning session. Now the first tip that I'm going to have for you may seem a little counterintuitive, but it's actually helpful to take a shower before your tanning session. What that's going to do is it's going to open up your pores and you're going to be able to absorb more from your UV tanning session. In addition, this is a great time to interject that the soap that you use does greatly affect your results as well. If you're using a commercial soap that has an ingredient called mineral oil in it, that's actually an alcohol that's going to be stripping the top layer of your skin. Here at ZoomTan, we do sell a body wash that will not strip your tan. So, if you're finding that you're losing your color faster than you like, make sure that you're using the right soap, and also make sure that you're showering before the session. My next tip, and possibly the most important one, is to make sure that you're using an indoor tanning lotion. When you use a lotion, you're gonna get darker faster, you're gonna hold your color longer, and it's great for skincare and anti-aging. I just did a video yesterday about the top five reasons why you should use a tanning lotion while you're tanning. I linked it right here, and I also put it down in the description box below for you. So definitely check that video out, and also make sure you're using lotion before you tan. Now that you're showering and you're also using lotion before your tanning sessions, I also wanna mention that it's really important to get repeat exposure. UV tanning is not like spray tanning, where you can come in one time and get results right away, which I do, of course, encourage you to come in and try the spray tanning as well. But with UV tanning, you do need to come in more than one time for your body to start producing melanin and unlocking it. So you want to get a consistent schedule going where you come in every day or every other day until you get your desired color. Then you can back off and come in a few times a week to maintain it. So consistency in order to get the color you need and also consistency in order to hold the color that you have. Now, the reason that I said the first tip about showering is counterintuitive is because most people that I talk to think you should shower right away after your tanning session, and that is actually not correct. If you wait a little bit of time afterwards to shower, like a couple of hours, your body's gonna continue to develop the melanin and you're going to get darker faster. If you shower right away, it's gonna slow down that melanin production and you won't get your optimal results. In addition, if you invested in a lotion with a really good bronzer in it, you want to let that bronzer sit on your skin for a while after your session, and if you go take a shower right away, you're going to wash that bronzer right down the drain. So I do always suggest waiting a couple hours after your tanning session to take a shower. My final tip, and also one of the most important tips, is to use a really good tan extending lotion after you shower. I always tell people that whether you're doing the UV tanning or the spray tanning, having healthy skin is always going to make your tan come out nicer. So I do always encourage you to use a really good tan extending product daily after you shower. It will help you hold the color longer, but it will also help you to get a better color and it will also keep your skin a lot healthier and smoother feeling. So in order to get the best results, I do also encourage you to use a tan extending lotion. So guys, those are my five tips in order to help you get more from every UV tanning session. Thank you so much for watching the video. And as I said in the beginning, do zoom your finger over to that like button and let us know you liked it. Also do subscribe to the Zoom Tan channel for more content and comment down in the comment section below and let us know some things that you do to get the most from your sessions. Thanks again. We'll see you guys in the next video.